when people can't get up in the morning and they can't get out of bed, I'm going to tell you why. Because they can predict the feeling of everything that's going to happen in their life. And their body's resigned to the familiar. It says, oh, another mundane day. But remember when you were a kid and you were going on a field trip? What happened then? You were up and dressed and ready to go before your parents were up. You know why? Because you knew something unexpected was going to happen. That's how we should live our lives. Waking up with the understanding to expect the unexpected. Something unusual should happen in our life as a result of our efforts. And it's just those beginning moments where it begins to happen that we begin to prove to ourselves how powerful we really are. Take time in the morning and the evening and the rest of the day. Check in with yourself at certain times to see if you're still in that energy. And if you're not, excuse yourself for a second, raise your energy and step back into your life. If you keep doing that over and over again, you'll become less frustrated, less impatient, less judgmental. It'll just become something of the past and you'll be someone else. When you finish a meditation, if you get up feeling the same way as you sat down, nothing really happens happen neurologically, biologically, chemically, hormonally, genetically, you're still in the same state of being. But when you get up and you feel like an elevated sense of self and your heart is swollen and you have a clear vision of your future and your energy is different, the question is, how long can you maintain that state? So you're literally broadcasting a whole new electromagnetic signature in that state. Thoughts tend to be electric and feelings tend to be magnetic. And the way we think and feel is what we broadcast into the field. And what we broadcast into the field is our experiment with destiny. So then when you go within and you disconnect from your outer world and you sit your body down and it's no longer experiencing anything and you're not thinking about your schedule, your past or your future. As I said today, you're being defined by thought and you're making your inner world more real than your outer world. When you open your eyes and you present yourself to the world, the job then is to not react emotionally to the same conditions in your life. Because the moment you react emotionally, you're equal to the conditions in your life and you're back in your past. So then when you fall from grace and you move off that state, then you sit down and you realign. You begin to tune in again and you change your energy again. Now, when I'm going through change in my life or I have a specific outcome that I want to create, I love to get up early in the morning. That's my time. I'm a 4.30 in the morning guy because that's my time. The rest of the day I'm serving, but I love getting up early and changing and working and having some time to myself. And I believe that when I invest in myself, I invest in my future. And that time in my, in my morning, nobody bothers me because that's my time. And because of brain waves and brain chemistry, the door between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind is more open. And so if I get up early and I'm kind of between theta and alpha, I don't have to work as hard. I'm not thinking, I just kind of relax into the moment. In the evening, I always ask myself, how did I do? How was one lifetime in one day? Where did I fall from grace? What happened? And so then when I look at seeing how I reacted to someone or something or I made the uh, choice that I could have made a better choice, I naturally, and we all do this, begin to think, well, if the same situation happened again, how would I do it differently? And that's the act of beginning to come up with a new plan. The act of rehearsing it in your mind begins to install the circuits in your brain, priming your brain so that when the next experience happens, you could modify your behavior to do a better job in life. That's called plasticity. If you decide, okay, I, if I'm taking time out of my busy life to emulate the divine, the creator, then if I'm gonna create something unlimited, I better feel unlimited. If I'm gonna do something magnificent, I'm a, I have to become magnificent. And if you keep doing that over and over again, it will begin to become more readily available to you, it'll get easier. And so when we're in that energy all the time, that's when the synchronicities and the serendipities and all those wonderful coincidences begin to happen. And it's those coincidences that are feedback in our environment where the field begins to open doors for us. That's what we want to occur. Now, I have worked on things in my life, and I'm a sincere person. I've worked on things in my life for years. And I always thought it was about the event or the experience I wanted to create. But all along I was changing. 
And when I finally reached the point where I could care less if I could have the experience is the moment it happened. But all along, the divine loving intelligence, this mother-father principle, of course, it's, it's observing us into life. It is, we, are, we are vitalistic, energetic beings. That when we begin to unify all these principles that we're talking about, you can't get this in one sitting. You can't. You have to keep understanding it, keep reviewing it, keep redoing it, keep experiencing it. And the new experience then causes you to dream in a way you would have never dreamt before unless you had that experience. And that's how God gets to know itself. So then, I don't care what meditation you do, I just like the fact that you're connected. And the more you connect and the more whole you feel, the more natural it becomes. And then, of course, the next experience then causes you to dream in another way. And what I know from my own experience and many students, it's not about material things. It's about those mystical moments, those transcendental moments, those moments where your jaw drops and you are in awe of life, those moments that take our breath away that cause us. And this has happened to me so many times. Every time I have one of those experiences, I think to myself, I got this all wrong. Hey, I have I got this all wrong. Some veil has been lifted and now I'm seeing more clearly about the way things really are.